Okay, guys, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much for showing up to check this video out. Just as much as I appreciate all of the videos you've watched so far. Thank you for following me on this journey. This has been such a blessing. Uh, you guys know how much music means to me. Um, and thank you for accepting that last video, my past video that was kind of rough. Um, but no big deal, man. I mean, you know, I, I thought it was cool uh, a couple of days after I made that one. Uh, Kelly Dean Allen, who's an amazing guitarist, he had made one as well. And everything he said made so much sense. Uh, we had a little conversation after, and it's just like, wow, I felt so much better. Sometimes just getting things off your chest makes you feel a little bit better, even if it goes out to the world. Um, maybe it'll help somebody else out who's, who's younger, uh, that find themselves in similar situations. Um, or some people that have many, many Access 2084 said the same thing. There's more of us, more of us than not out there that haven't, uh, that have, that have almost and uh, that didn't. So uh, it's, it's okay, man. I mean, we're still musicians uh, and everything happens for a reason. I believe this firmly now. Um, obviously, uh, if I would have had that golden ticket, I wouldn't be here today. So uh, my kids are just everything to me and that's where that ended up and I love being dad so I still get to be a musician well part-time guy I get to now thanks to technology can write my own music do my own stuff here in the little camper it's pretty cool so I looked at my little number and I couldn't help but notice 500k or five oh 500k wow yeah okay 500 subs guys I mean a small milestone if, if you will uh, but a milestone at that and I want to say thank you to every one of you guys uh, for that. And I don't have much special to offer other than saying thank you very much and hope that this will keep moving forward. Um, thanks to all of you. So what I did was, I've never done this before, I drug out all my guitars. And uh, I figured I would talk a little bit about each one really quickly. You know, I'm in a camper so I've got low light. But there they all stand, and Joda's gonna be there, LaRue. He's gonna be probably center, yeah. <laughs> hey, Rue, what you doing, dude? Say hey, Rue. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Anyway, so it started right here. Uh, as you guys may remember, it started here. I might actually release the first video I ever made with it. It was embarrassing. I think I cut it off. Uh, made it private um, because I sucked so bad it was embarrassing and uh, you know you got to start somewhere um, and I didn't know quite enough like I thought I might have known when I started I did and I had to kind of get back it took me a while to start remembering certain things and whatnot um, but anyway let me just start by saying again thank you guys so much for stopping by and we're going to walk through each one of these and talk about them. This is the one that started it all right in the dead center there. That is an, that is a made in Mexico big box. I'm just going to call it the way it is. That is a guitar center special rollout. They did a limited edition. Um, they called it, uh, an, it's basically, it's just an S FSR, an FSR Fender special run uh maple neck uh it's, it's got the poly on the you know coated right there on the on the neck kind of like a little 50s i guess um modern c shaped neck kind of run down for you a little bit here this was the first one i bought and you already know why this is the most affordable one that I could find at the time without knowing much about guitar at all compared to today. And the only thing I knew about guitar was that fenders were good. And, um, you know, guys, I come from a different time, so you have to forgive me. Um, uh, you know, a lot of people would say, oh, custom shop or got to have a USA or whatever, which, man, I, you can't argue with that. that that's definitely awesome. Um, but not all of us can afford that, and a lot of musicians are what they call starving musicians, and they get what they call a working man strat. That's what was in my head. And to find a new one with the maple neck, you know, blacked out like that, I was extremely happy, you know, that they offered them. I found this on Reverb. Someone had bought it at Guitar Center, uh, and they also had a case, a Fender Pro um, hard shell case. 
um, you know, the standard hard shell case Fender makes. Um, for 450 bucks, I jumped on it. That was shipped for 450. Stock pickups, guys, these are ceramic pickups, made in Mexico, has the Oak Grigsby switch, whatever they use, Fender, five-way. Uh, 250K uh, Fender uh, CTS pots um, in all stock. Mm -hmm. Beautiful guitar, Fender, made in Mexico, FSR, Stratocaster, standard, basically. Um, it's got the good, decent fender tuning keys on there. Here's my little Made in Mexico guy there. And I'm easy to please, guys. I saw that it had the skunk stripe, and I was like, legit. Oh, man. Yeah, it got the skunk, scri skunk, skunk stripe. Oh, my God, skunk stripe. Got uh, all the five uh, things in there. Got the full width block. Um, this is all stock. I haven't put the back on. Oh man, I, everybody decides to hit me up on Facebook whenever. I gotta figure out how to turn that off, the notifications when I'm recording. I apologize for that. So unprofessional. So, so that's this guy. Um, I shouldn't have to explain much about it. It's just your standard appeal. There's nothing really special about it. Um, they don't make them anymore, they say that, but they do have a player series that's probably got the better pickups. Well, better, that's subjective. Some people like the... Uh, the uh, the higher output um, uh, pickups uh, ceramics, but if you as you can see, these do have um, the pickups are uh, you know in different positions there. Um, I forget what they call that. Um, anyway, so that's the Mexican one and. Don't want to make this video too long but so that was the first one that i got and due to everything that was going on my pup had died she was 10 annie um i was alone kind of you know, kind of going through some rough times this guitar was kind of like really came to me uh and i look at things in a really weird way i'm a very different person i guess so i named this one annie i don't ever name anything and i know a lot of guitarists do so i thought you know it's my first one it means a lot to me. It's very special. So it got the name in. Next up was a guitar that I sold. It was a just a, just a regular old. I paid eighty bucks used for it at Guitar Center called uh, an M10. Very solid little shredder. Um, it was a uh, string through body HH black with a rosewood fretboard. I let that one go. Um, then the one next after that was uh, this one right here and this one I got this is an LTD MH 103 QM it has an actual Floyd Rose Rose special stock it's got the uh, LS 150 humbucker and LS 20 120 uh, singles and this thing they're El Nico they sound really good um, and this guitar, when I got it, it's got real pretty, uh, I forget what they call that, a quilt, yeah, quilted top. Can't see it without, if I got more light on it, you'd be able to see it. Um, yeah, a little 12th fret inlay there. This one was very, uh, it was tuned down to D when I got it, or no, drop C sharp, the guy said. And uh, I got it to tune down to uh, E, and uh, my, eventually, about a year later, it sat mainly on the stand. I broke some strings on it, and uh, my son-in-law set it up for me with tens and got it in E. And man, I couldn't put this thing down, so you'll see a lot of videos of this one. As you can see, this is in Indonesia. The tuning keys and all that. This, what I really like about this, it's almost like a graphite feeling of mine, but it's a satin finish. Just beautiful. It's got the little scarf joint there. I love this guitar, guys. Uh, it, it's the one that turned me on to the uh, tremolo there. And I can actually use this thing. It stays in tune like killer. So that's that one. I got that one. I think it was $150 shipped. And then I found out they were going for like $399 new or something like that. There's a newer model called the 203 now. It doesn't have the, the dot inlays. Um, just solid maple. And it has the LTD branded. It doesn't have the actual Floyd Rose. 
Okay, and then next up after that, uh, around that time, it was around Christmas, things were getting really hectic. I, I, I even didn't even play for like about a month, I think. The fender sat in the case, the other one sat on the stand. <clears throat> I enter this little contest and I, I see a, uh, uh, the, you know, I respond to the guy how, thought, how I thought it was really cool. His videos were really cool. I like how he was taking his art and blending it with music and guitars and I was actually learning a little bit so I started commenting. He asked me for my uh, address and all that and I gave it to him. Next thing you know, I won a little Christmas giveaway and this is the one and they had named this Penny. So funny because of the color. Now the light isn't very good. I apologize for that but you'll see more of these on my channel if you go back and look. But this is Penny. This is the uh, 2001 S370. RRF or red rock flat red flat something like that um, all stock let me tell you something if you go watch Eric C's channel Eric C you will see him tear this thing down when he got it take it all the way apart clean it put it all back together again set it all up this is this is one of my favorites man this thing plays like I, I, I can't even describe it it's it's got its own tones to it beautiful guitar I mean, I love this one. So it stays in its case a lot, but I do break it out on occasions because I do need to change these strings. Um, you know, because it stays in a the case, they're staying pretty good. Um, and here's the back here, if I can get it in the light a little better. Show a little bit more of it here. Yeah, it's all stock. He did, he got a, I don't know what he paid for this thing, but I, it's all he said, he's, he got a pretty good deal on it. He didn't, there's not, a lot, there's not a lot of information about these because they didn't make them but for like a year. Um, yeah, you can see it's just a nice maple neck, rosewood fretboard. So what's cool about buying the older guitars, you get their good rosewood. And these are, you know, on the back there, you kind of take those, they've got uh, their, the lip, there's a lip on them there. They're not inlaid to it, so. But yeah, and you can see here how thin it is, very thin. I want to say this thing probably weighs about like six pounds, if that, if that. All right, so we'll set that back down. After that would come, I got a hole in my pocket. Oh, I bought another one. Um, no, it was this one next. Okay, yeah, this guy I think came next. This is what really started getting me like, okay, I definitely like strats. This is a 2015. This is the one that's been in most of my videos because it sets out. It doesn't have a case. 2015 Classic Vibe 60s. Did you move? Now this one's had some mods. When I bought it, it came used from uh, Music Go Round. It had Mighty Might ceramic pickups, all cloth wired. Very nice job in that thing. But I took them out and I put in a Player Series, brand new Player Series, loaded had plastic on it and everything. Loaded player series pick card, completely loaded. So however a player comes, that's what that is now. Um, and you guys have seen plenty about this guitar on my channel and heard a lot. Even the most recent tunes uh, come off of this one. This is the one that I was able to tell everyone uh, that yes, the uh, word on the street is no joke. These are players. Now this is a 60s, but it has a small block um in there um there's no no paint or there's paint in the back so no bare wood however uh it does have the black uh shielding paint in the cavity and i think it's got what they call the snowman route where you could do an hs hsh um, i think that's what it, it is or hss okay then next up uh i bought another guitar and sold it. it was an Ibanez S120 um, and it, it was a big long story about that you can watch the video on that purchase where I got ripped off they swapped the pickups because it was supposed to have Petrucci uh, crunch lab and liquefiers in it and it came with these INFs in it so they sent me a brand new pack of those I wound up selling those to get or trading those for this loaded pick guard okay and then I sold the guitar um, as well so those are the only two guitars I've sold so far then I bought this one, if you guys remember, the Squire. This one, this one made a video for me, guys, that's, I want to say it's over 15,000 views now. It's like, uh, the guitar made the video for me. All I did was strum around on it and just be honest about what I thought about it. With the knowledge that I have today, 
And around that time, I was still closer to, uh, you know, like more of a beginner, kind of just getting into things. But this thing, guys, I'm telling you, no doubts at all that this is the player. If you are ever on the fence about this, it's the same thing I said. You gotta go, you owe it to yourself, man. Don't even joke around, go get a bullet telly. They don't even write bully, bullet on him anymore. It's pretty cool. It's got a nice neck on it. It's not too thin. It's not very thick. It's like a nice, uh, let me see. I think it feels kind of like, yeah. Yeah, it's about like the 60s, about the same feeling as the 60s uh, classic vibe there, the, the feel of the neck on the back. But this is a, a nice satin finish on the back. Um, and this is a Indian Laurel fretboard. Um, all stock, you know, I paid 119 and uh, I think it was like 120 with shipping and all that, 124 or something like that. And I've still got one of the layers of plastic on there. I need to clean it up. This one doesn't have a case either. It just sits out and I just break it out and wipe it down. Beautiful guitar, beautiful guitar. When you see these go on sale, jump on them. Hell, buy a couple of them and then whichever one you wind up liking the most, you could sell the other one and put 10 bucks on it and still get it. Because uh, when these things sell out of uh, the sale price, they people are just buying them. They're just buying the hell out of them. Yeah, beautiful guitar. So yeah, this is a bullet limited edition surf green. Uh, they call a FSR Tally Bullet Squire. Move, Rue. Move your tail. Move. Get up. Good boy. Sorry. Okay, next up and the last one here. Did you guys remember this, the trip I took with my daughter? That little surprise special. That money burning a hole in my pocket. <laughs> Actually, what happened was this guitar came up with a Fender amp, which I sold the little Fender amp um, for 300 bucks in a guitar case and a strap. And this was, I think the guy said he had it for a month. He played it a couple of times set it down he, had, he owns a bait and tackle shop and he said he just sat it down in his office and he just sat there so he said he just wanted his money at least half his money back he put 600 in and got 300 from me i was happy about it now i wanted to do i bought this mainly so i'd have something you know because i was dying to put a new guitar on the channel and i wanted to see what the difference was of these newer models because i thought it was going to be indonesian but it wasn't this is a china another china and it's a new china model now let me tell you something about this one this has the cheaper 5p switch in it um, it has the official elnico fender design pickups and alpha pots that's the electronics but it has the full 42 uh i guess they call it the, the full block just like my mexican strat in the back so it's got a full mass block uh trim back there this is the Lake Placid Blue Classic 560s, as you can see, China. Um, it might be a different China factory, but it's, uh, yeah, this is CGR, RJ. Yeah, CCRJ. Okay. Beautiful guitar, Indian Laurel. Um, different little logo there. It's got the stamped little guys right here. Yeah. This one's not stamped, the older 2016, and it's got the smaller mass block. This does have the shielding in it. It does have shielding, so it gets the fatter block and the shielding paint and the painted cavity in the back. Um, but it doesn't get the Oak Grigsby with the tone and the bridge, like I think the 50s do. But the 50s doesn't get the, 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 the paint in the inside either, the, the, the uh, um, you know, so very strange and the 50s also gets the smaller block so you get something and you get something else with each one it's just really weird um, a lot of misinformation about these um, online beautiful guitar it's got nines on it i prefer tens i might if i decide to keep it um i'll probably uh, put tens on it and make this an hss because i think it would look totally awesome with a chrome humbucker down there with a 500k pot um maybe a little s1 i don't know we shall see, um, but I really need to set it back up again. Um, and then that's it, guys. That's all my guitars. That's the ones. And then after that, I think uh, that's over a span of what a year, 2018, March 2018 till about two years worth. It's a growing habit. It is a growing habit. 
I'm not going to give you guys a favorite other than you know that that Mexican's my favorite. That one's the most played. That one means a lot to me as well. It came from a very good friend of mine, which we've already discussed. I hope you guys go check him out. Him and CCJ were like, uh, they didn't even realize at the time what was going on until later. And they're like, wow, man, it's just, it just really puts into perspective how like nature or whatever you want to call it, God, how, how our higher power things just really work out really weird, man, in good ways sometimes. And it's just really strange. Anyway, you know, and then very recently this guy comes, <laughs> and, you know, so that's been a kind of a going joke, but well guys, that's it. That's just a little story about a few of the guitars. I do have one more guitar and it's the one that I bought way before all of this when I first got my son and my daughter about 15 years ago. It's a little Delta Memphis uh, acoustic electric or, uh, you know, it's got the little uh, preamp in it, electric, uh, acoustic guitar. Um, it's in the back back there. I didn't drag it out. Uh, just I'll put it in another video. I may have already have shown it. Um, it's a little cheap guitar, but yeah, man, it's this is what has been on my channel so far. And that's them right there. So all of my music that you hear that you will hear will have all been on these unless otherwise noted. All right, guys, so with that said, I'm going to go ahead and leave you, and once again, thank you guys so much, man. I can't stress it enough, and I know every YouTuber says it, but I really mean it, man, and I'm sure they do too. Um, that little, you know, it just seems so cliche. As long as you guys just remain yourselves and stay you and just be wonderful as you are, I'll be here to make more videos and hope that you come by and see some more. I think everything will be great. Again, thank you guys for showing up. Thank you for the 500 subscribers. And I'll try to keep getting better with my videos. And uh, this is all using a phone so far, guys. All using a phone. Um, and I've got the... Trying to work on the sound quality now. And maybe get a little album out soon. And possibly an e-kit may one day enter this channel. And that's when everyone will get to see if I've still... Uh, if I can knock the rust off and get some drums going and that would be really cool that's my main instrument that I actually play um, my guitar has been so cool man I've, I've got a feeling that it's really taking a lead here late, lately like I can't I can't put it down I really love it um, so with that said you guys take care and I hope to see you on the next one thank you so much for stopping by peace stay you